Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be reviewing some colored lip stains. There are some matte lip stains that I got from a company called Colored Rain. You might be familiar with them from Instagram. I got a few of them, so I thought that I'll show you guys how they look on brown skin girls. Um, I also got two lip stains. These are actually the satin lip stains from ColourPop. Um, I only got two of them, so I'll just show you guys at the end of the video how they look on me as well. So if you're interested, go ahead and continue watching. Now, I took my lip gloss off. These lip stains aren't drying, like, and they do not move off your lips. Um, I would say that, like, after maybe, like, 25 minutes of wearing them, my lips feel extremely, extremely dry. But they're just such beautiful lipsticks. They glide on smoothly. Um, so I'll show you guys exactly how these lip stains look without any lip liner so you can see the true color on my skin complexion. Okay. Now, I'm going to go from lightest to darkest only because of the way they stain my lips. I'm going to start off with the lightest color I have, which is uh, Mars. It's like a nudie pink mauve color. Um, for me, I have to actually pair this up with a lip liner, preferably uh, a NYX lip liner, like a brown lip liner, just for my complexion, just to kind of make it work for me. Somebody who's lighter than me, it probably will work for them pretty fine. So I'm going to swatch this one on me first so you guys can kind of see how it looks. So it's this mauve nudie pink. Okay, so this is Mars, perfect for the summer. But y'all know, y'all know this needs a brown lip liner. A brown lip liner. Anybody who's my complexion or darker, please, please wear lip liner. Like, because this is not hitting without a lip liner. But I definitely, definitely, definitely love this pink. Okay, so the next one I'll be doing is... Ooh la la. This is actually one of my favorite lip stains from the collection. This is like the perfect pink for the summertime. It's like a purplish fuchsia pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, some days, this is tricky. Some days I feel like I only need a lip liner when I wear this. Some days I don't. I guess it just depends on the way my makeup looks for that day. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. Oops, shit. I almost spilled the damn thing out there. Ooh la la. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay. So this is ooh la la. Beautiful, beautiful fuchsia. So the next color is another one of my favorites from the collection. This one is Cherry Blossom. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thank you, Colored Rain, for finding a replacement for that horrible, horrible, horrible ruby woo that I had to use for so many years. Woo! Because that ruby woo, ooh, I was looking for something that can match its beauty but not have its complications. And this is exactly what this does for me. Mm. Do you feel me? Do you, ooh, do you feel it? Are you feeling it? Next up on the roster is Sweet Rain. This purple kind of matches my nails. If you can see my nails. Do a swatch of it. This I actually haven't been bold enough to wear out in public yet, but I still think it's a really, really pretty color. I'm sure one day this summer I'll probably wear it out. Okay, so this is Sweet Rain. Matches my nails. Ooh. Okay, so next we're going to do roulette, which is a really pretty, like, I want to say this is like a berry burgundy kind of color, berry dark purple kind of color. A little swatch of it. I'm gonna swatch is Tootsie. Okay. okay, so this is Tootsie. I would say like this is like a brown based, 
purple or burgundy. Very brown base. This is your standard makeup remover wipe. As you can see, this barely comes off with a, a wet wipe. Hardly. This like doesn't transfer at all. So I usually use this coconut oil or I use olive cooking olive oil. Either or is pretty good for removing this. All right, so the last color that we're gonna do is 2 a.m., which is just a black, a bold black when you're feeling a little edgy. I don't need to swatch this one on my hand because you basically get the idea. It's a black color. All right, so this is 2 a.m. Makes me feel like a vampire or something. Okay, so now I'm gonna swatch my last two lips stains. These are the satin, the ultra satin lip stains from ColourPop. I got two shades. I got TNC and I got Mess Around. So I'll do Tansy first. Tansy's really pretty. It's like an orange brownish color. This is a swatch of it. Um, I like it when I'm trying to go for that like golden goddess look. <laughs> I guess. So this is Tansy. It's not drying. It's not drying. So it's a satin one. So it kind of like finishes matte, but it still has like a little bit of a butteriness to it, which is which I like. So usually when I wear this, I pair it with NYX lip pencil in the shade mahogany because I just don't like how this looks without a lip liner on me because I guess the shape of my lips. But I really like this color. And this definitely comes off easy. This comes off because it's a satin finish. It's not mattifying. It's not drying. So it definitely comes off easier than the colored rain. So I can just take this off with a wet wipe. So if you're planning on wearing this all day, you might have to reapply a couple of times. You know, if you're eating at dinner with your man or whatever the case is. Don't, don't think it's going to be an all-nighter. And last but not least, last but not least, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, if the gentlemen is watching this, um, we got mess around, mess around. Don't wanna mess around. Hey. Now this is a mess around. Now, I mean, I think this will look better with a brown liner, but you can wear it without it. I think it's so cute. And this is just a very, very, very pretty, pretty nude. So my overall thoughts of the color Rain is I think it's an amazing line. Um, I don't really have too many complaints. Like I said before, it is very drying. Well, it, it's not super drying, but it can be drying. But it does last all day. And um, I probably would say you really only have to reapply if you're eating something that's like oil based because you see that I needed oil in order to remove it. Um, but for the most part, I don't really have too many complaints. I hope this video was informative and it helped anybody who was interested in the Colored Rain product line. Um, I know the first thing I was thinking when I went to the, when I saw it on Instagram was, okay, now what does it look like on somebody that's my complexion? So if anybody who was thinking the same thing and stumbled across this video, I hope it helped you out. ColourPop is amazing. It's not drying. I'm going to go ahead and order some more. And once I order those lippies, I'll come back to you guys and show you guys how those look on my complexion. But Color Rain, they did their thing. And it works for African American women, especially people of my complexion are darker. They just have amazing pigmented colors. And it's owned by African American, which is a plus. Support black owned businesses. But if you do um, like my video or you're interested in some more beauty tips i'll be bringing some hair some fashion some makeup comment below some things you'll be interested in some things you'll be interested in me reviewing you already know what to do you already know what to do subscribe to my channel like and comment and follow me on instagram my instagram is 
D-Y-Maka. I'll list that below and I'll list all the names of the lippies that I use today. And I'll see you guys in my next video.